Some scary moments for workers this morning at a North York recycling plant when an irritating substance was released. Melanie? Well, this is an interesting one, Kev. Uh, let's begin with what happened with the workers. Four of them sent to hospital with respiratory problems and dozens more had to be decontaminated. Let's get to our Tammy Sutherland, who's live at the plant on Arrow Road with some details. Tammy? Yeah, Melanie, they still don't know exactly what the substance was itself, but as you mentioned, four people sent to hospital with respiratory issues, and about 60 people had to be decontaminated as a precaution. It was just before midnight when workers who were sorting recycling um, on a line all of a sudden started to react to this irritating substance. We spoke to one of those employees who described what happened. Suddenly, we just uh, cough and then, you know, sneeze. And then by the time we go down already, uh, to, we just only take a little, you know, just a few minutes. But then uh, after that, there's some ambulance, there's some paramedic already. And then they said, we cannot go back there anymore. Now, Toronto fire officials say it is likely that someone put something in their recycling bin that did not belong and was not supposed to be there. That's likely what has caused this. The worker who we spoke to says that happens uh, pretty often where they find needles and other things that do not belong in recycling bins at all. She also mentions that the morning shift here at the plant has been cancelled as a precaution as Toronto Fire, EMS, as well as police are still inside the building. Melanie Elson, back to you for now. All right, Tammy, thank you for that. Still no arrest after a man was shot and killed in broad daylight in Etobicoke. This victim shot outside of a building on Dixon Road near Islington around 3 yesterday afternoon. He was rushed to hospital but died from his wounds. So far, police have not released his identity. There was also a two-vehicle crash at the same location, and homicide detectives are trying to figure out how this may be linked. Police now checking for surveillance video in the area to try to identify this shooter. A Canadian man who is living in Belize with his family has been shot and killed. Police in the Central American country have identified him as Gabriel Bocnia, originally from Toronto. In a statement, his sister says Gabriel was a devoted father, a beloved son, brother and uncle. He was known for his big heart, always willing to assist those in need. His impact will be felt across several communities where he actively helped shape a positive environment. His loss is a horrific blow to our family and friends, and we are devastated by it. The 38-year-old was returning to his home with his wife and three children in Corozal and had gotten out of his vehicle to open a gate when he was shot. So far, there has been no arrest. The Markham creators behind what's being criticized as a racist video game have now decided to pull the plug and not release their app. The game called Dirty Chinese Restaurant depicts restaurant owners chasing cats and dogs with cleavers and running from immigration officials. This app causing an outcry from the community and politicians, ultimately forcing developers to cancel the release. The creators say the game was supposed to be satire and not offensive. Oscar-winning Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein in the spotlight this morning as nearly three decades of sexual harassment claims have been made public. Weinstein has worked on films like Pulp Fiction and Goodwill Hunting. He is CEO of the Weinstein Company, said in a statement that he will be taking a leave of absence to, quote, deal with these issues head on. Stars like Rose McGowan and Ashley Judd, among several people accusing Weinstein of sexual harassment. Harvey. Panthers quarterback Cam Newton now apologizing after making sexist comments to an NFL reporter. He took to Twitter yesterday to tell fans that he made a very poor choice of words. After careful thought, I understand that my word choice was extremely degrading and disrespectful uh, to women. And to be honest, that was not my intention. And if you are a person who took offense to what I said, I sincerely apologize to you. Now, the football star faced serious backlash earlier this week when he told a female reporter that it was funny to hear her talk about football. In the aftermath, he lost major sponsors and advertisements.